baby son. And then I have here my, the fourth generation of our family. He told Walker the fourth. Yes, sir. 
bless the man and woman of God. Yeah. Yeah. Hebrews 12, 1 and 2 says these words, just two verses. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about mm -hmm. with so great a cloud of witnesses, yeah. let us lay aside every way, yeah. every, every. and the sin which do it so easily beset us. Let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Second verse says, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the same, and sat down at the right hand of the throne. I want to talk to you today for about 20 minutes. Oh, God. Thank you, Lord. That's 20 sanctified minutes. All right. 20 Church of God in Christ minutes. Well, all right. I want to talk to you today about set up to win. Set up to win. Mm, mm, mm. Can you say that with me? Set up. Set up. To win. To win. Thank you. I take scripture says, seeing we also mm -hmm. are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight. Mm -hmm. But he says, not just the weight only, but also the sin well, all right. which, do, which does so easily Beset us. Uh -huh. And then he says, once you set that aside, he said, and then let us run with patience. Mm -hmm. The race that is set before us. Uh -huh. What he simply says is, do not rush yourselves. Mm -hmm. But he says, run with patience. My God. What God has set before us. You gotta understand, we've already been set up All right. to lead. Mm -hmm. All right. Tell somebody, don't worry. Don't worry. And don't stress. And don't stress. Luke, Luke 18 and 27 says this, and he said, the things which are impossible with me mm -hmm. are possible with God. My God, my God. So don't allow me and the sin to defeat your winning destiny. Yeah. First John 5, 4 and 5 says, For whatsoever is born of God, mm -hmm. overcometh the world. Well. And this is the victory oh my God. that overcometh the world, even our faith. That overcometh the world. Mm -hmm. But he that believed that Jesus, the Son of God, we have indeed again been set up to win. Yeah. Verse 2 of Hebrews 12, chapter 12 says to us, looking unto Jesus. Right. In a pandemic, looking unto Jesus. Trouble in your house. Trouble in my house. Trouble in the White House. Trouble in Afghanistan. But looking unto Jesus. Mm -hmm. The author and finisher of our faith. In other words, he wrote it and he will put the finishing touch on it. Then he says, the joy that was set before you endured the cross, despising the same, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. To even mention the word win, 
in this time of day. All right. When we have been faced with so many challenges, a barrage of lost lives, a shortage of food right before. Come on, eyes, come on, come on. An outrage of Corona, followed by a Delta virus, and then a third plague. Disobedient children. Mm -hmm. Some businesses have gone out of business. Our economy is stroking out. Death after death. My God, my God. But because we have been set up to win, I hear God's word saying, There shall no evil befall thee. Come on, come on. Neither shall any plague come down thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over me to keep me in all my ways. Yeah. Somebody asked me, how do we survive in all that's happening right before my eyes? Yeah, yeah. Pastors have had to preach to lesser crowds of people. Social media has become a college course for many of us. Alexander Graham Bell has gotten full use out of the telephone that he invented. <laughs> Who conference calls and yeah. food. Yeah. Cash has, has become a Western news. Give the fire has invaded money grant. Come on now. <laughs> Some churches have closed down privately. Right. But God says we are set up to win. Oh Lord, Lord, have mercy. In Philippians 1, 12 through 14, just three verses. And I will not read those verses. But in those three verses, Paul speaks of him in prison. But he does not describe his own mood or his own physical condition. Instead, he talks about the contrast between his personal restricted circumstances. Lord have mercy in Philippians 1 and 25. Lord have mercy. Paul speaks of the gospel of progress. Come on, come on. The progress of telling the gospel. Paul was in prison for years, locked up. But I want to tell you, he was in prison, but he was not south. Lord have mercy. What am I saying? There are so many that have been at home locked in from the virus. They have locked their praise in. They have masked their prayers in. Come on now. Lord have mercy. No fault of ever assembling themselves uh, together in the house of God. But I hear the Lord say. In his words, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what they shall answer when I am reproved by God. And the Lord answered me and said, 
in Hebrews chapter 10, verse number 35, it says these words, cast not away, therefore your confidence, which has great recompense of rewards, for ye need, for ye have need of patience, that after you have done the will of God, you might receive the promise for yet a little while. And he that shall come will come and will not tell if we can believe his promises and we walk in obedience. We have been set up to be in people of God. Me and brethren, we've been set up Oh! 
But how does a widow walk? been set up, I've been set up to win, I've been set up to do the will of God, I'm going to preach until the Lord say well done, I'm going to preach until the Lord come back to get me